Colorful versus Lin, our first game of the day. Terna stand for the first map. Lin with a Blade Master opening against the Demon for Colorful. This is all very much the standard on this map. Demon Hunter here normally gets off to a good start. Fast level 3 has been seen before. Thank you to our first two subs of the day. JJ Xoto with the resub. And also Micro Jordan with the resub. Thank you guys very much. Oh, Late Master wants to get these steals. Oh, didn't quite get that one. That might have been a bit of a low damage roll. So the demon has the experience lead here pretty clearly. No claws yet on the blade, no gloves. In terms of damage, he's looking a bit unimpressive so far, but of course there will be <laughs> uh, more stuff to find later. He just dropped an item on the ground and attacked it. I hope Len is not feeling too bored. This is a bit of a boring scene that we're seeing right here, though. Just the demon and the blade. Thinking about who's gonna get the wizard. With the grunt coming, I guess it should go to Lin in the end. Though Colorful would love to get that item. The demon are also a hero who scales very well with claws, rings. Maybe not so much gloves. Gloves are okay. But not too insane. Lin with patience gets the camp at last as level... 1.6 for him, got the claws, and he is heading south here. Colorful though with quick creeping, taking out the natural. Ooh, the talisman of evasion is actually really good for him, because he doesn't have evasion in the build. Late trying to take out the Ancient of War, and that is successful. This was a big gambler, right? Running south here, hoping to find something to damage. If Colorful hadn't been there, this would have been a big waste of time. Or I guess he could have then crept it himself, but I think it works out very well. Full in indeed. Speed scroll popped. Wants to get the Shadow Priest. Ooh, but that's a nice block. That's a very nice block by the Demon Hunter. Saves that Shadow Priest. All Lin can get here is the Circlet. Tier 2 finished. And we see Shadow Hunter, Keeper, and Double Bestiary. Oh. Oh, not Raider Walkers. It's gonna be pure mass Raiders. Can he get the Berserker kill here? That would be big. I uh, should be able to make it to the Moonwells. Okay, good saves here by Colorful. Keeps all of his units alive. And is going tier 3. Getting ready for bears. This could be an expansion game for Lin, but it doesn't have to be. He could just also play Hit and Run all day long. Mass Raiders, of course, not very good against Bears. But with Kodos in the mix, with a couple of Speed Scrolls and End Snares, might be quite decent indeed. Blade Master playing pretty sacrificially here. Oh, he might go down here. Another Entangle into a Surround. bit of immolation. I think he's dead. Oh, turns around. Whoops, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, made that a bit too easy. It's only level one hero. It's not the most devastating loss of all time. And space was created for the Shadow Hunter. He was able to creep up already. Level two here and a couple of good items. Keeper has two more entangles, I believe. And he's looking for the jack. First raider is out with the ensnare peon as well. Colorful could have a nice timing here. And there he goes. One of mana steel used right away. On the keeper, I believe. But there's a mana potion on the keeper. He can use plenty more spells. Dispel. Or Dispel, as some call it. Heat Wave also, so far nothing has died. Keeper still in trouble here. Where is the Raider? Maybe the Raider did die. There's a yellow dot up there. 
We can see in the overlay how much loss lost, and indeed no units have died yet. It's just been items. One of mana steel. Oh, and now the first raider goes down, though it was denied. Colorful here is trying to keep Lin busy, look for kills, and stop an expansion. The peon, of course, gave away the fact that Lin wants to expand. And now he's going to set that up. But bear master training is already coming. Colorful might not be in a bad position to push this soon. Needs levels, though. Demon only two, keeper only one. Not too impressive just yet. But that might change later on. Raider is looking for the catch, looking for the ensnare. I think he faked the ensnare to force the bear form. With bear form, you can dodge and snare if you time it right. Going for the keeper instead. That is certainly the vulnerable target. Backstab into a surround. That's the kill. And the hex prevented the staff pass, I guess. Could have given them t the TP, maybe. But the Blade Master might be dead as well. Very, very hurt. Just barely survives. Big target right here with the Burzy. More end snares flying. Demon Hunter locked down for a moment. Nice and snare on the Dryad to perhaps allow an escape for the Grunt. Shadow Hunter made it to three. Didn't skill Heal Wave yet, which is kind of weird. Is he thinking about Serpent Wards? That had to be strange. Orc expansion is slowly coming up. Also, a Tauren transition, or rather, a Walker transition from the Tauren Totem. I mean to say. Oh, but this is good. Kills here for Colorful. Takes out two Raiders quickly once the Bears get on top of them. They do a ton of damage, of course. Late Master ready to step out of the shadows. Gonna go for the Dima Hunter here, but the Keeper's back. He's got the Orb, he's got the Staff. Entangle on the Blade. Oh, pretty close to falling. Shadow Hunter still hasn't skilled his level 3 spell point. Now he does. Alright, there we go. Entangle again. Blade Master might be dead. Once more. Oh! Messes up with a movement. Blade goes down. And this should be the big lead going to Colorful. Lots of bears. Lots of damage. Rejuven Roar at the ready. And maybe the Kodos were too late for Lin, right? He could have made Kodos a while ago, instead of all these raiders. He had the war mill. Now the expansion might be a goner. Levels on Colorful still aren't too sick. He still has those rune bracers, actually. Very difficult to take this fight. This is not an army made to face bears. He's trying again to kill the Keeper. He could easily surround him here. And does get it. Trying to pass an item, the Staff. And he did it. Nicely done. Staff was on the ground. Late Master still dead. For 15 seconds. And this is just too much. GG is called. And Colorful gets the 1-0 one -oh with a solid, pretty straight up normal game. Late Master dying on level 1, I don't think was the uh, the death sentence, really. But the fact that the Blade Master turned around, made it too cheap. The Keeper that way had more mana to use, um, was not ideal. And I guess the Blade Master also didn't need to die if he had been more cautious. And now the question is, how many people lost their channel points? A good number. Lin was the favorite here, for good reason. He is on a six-game win streak right now against Colorful. But maybe today is the day where that changes. Our second map will be the big one, the great one, Twisted Meadows.
And that should start in just a moment. Back to the drawing board, Falin. Um, seemed like a good early game at the start. The Demon Hunter was slowed down a lot. The Creep Jack at the natural was pretty big, actually. Where was the problem this game? The Blade Master dying, of course, was a bit of an issue, but it's not the end of the world normally. Maybe the Double Raiders. Maybe the Double Beast theory. It didn't work out too well. If he had had Raiders, I mean Walkers, earlier, that would have done way more for him. Spiriting to protect the units. I guess the plan was to set up the expansion and then play hit and run. Look for pickoffs one at a time with the ensnare, but Lin never really got into that position. So colorful with a strong start. Takes the 1 0, and we move on to map number 2. Lin had a very successful season in March, where he took second place, only losing to Happy in the grand final in the end. He even came from the winner bracket, Happy from the lower bracket. But then it was a somewhat one sided 1 4 loss in the grand final. I would love to see Happy and Lin face again to see where the meta is going between these two. Happy's of course already in the top 8. Yesterday he qualified from group B alongside race ally 1-0. to zero. The four players in the playoffs right now are 1-0 to zero Happy, Fly and Kaho. We don't have a human player yet, and today we won't get one. Unless Infi suddenly starts playing human, which I doubt. Party Pete with the resub. Thank you very much. Versus Demon Hunter once again it is, of course. This was a fast shop build, by the way. Lin is possibly gonna try to harass this speed scroll, chases across the map. Let's have the Shadow Priest as well. Oh, this is kind of scary for Colorful already. Big Master coming quickly. Demon gets the last hit. Very important. Bad items for him. Only cloak and a mana potion, but he got the last hit, which was very, very important. Wiss now will be in a bit of trouble. One goes down, although also that one was nicely denied. I would say Colorful is recovering here pretty well, dealing with this Blade Master threat. And the barracks is coming now. Colorful seems like he forgot about Putting a wisp on uh, the lab. Couldn't reveal the blade master here. Got one single wisp kill, but more importantly, a big, big tech lead. Oh, reactions are still quick enough. Save that wisp. You know, the blade master very much out of mana. Clarity might be needed. Having the Shadow Priest is nice though. Soon there's going to be Gruntsville in. And he's keeping his eyes peeled. Looking for a possible Knight of Expansion. Burzy goes to Colorful. Very important. If Lin had gotten that, he could have really put on a lot of pressure here. Oh, Blade trying to fight the Knight of here. Not quite working out. Blade Master items are very weak right now. He's also very hurt. And that should be then the level 2. Yep, there it is. Is he gonna go for boots? Oh, he is! Boots on the Demon Hunter. 
Then was trying to be cheeky, steal a last hit with a Shadow Priest. That didn't quite work. Shadow Priest is probably gonna die now. Demon can chase it with the boots pretty easily. Really good play so far by Colorful here. Gotta say. Alright, Lin is trying to accelerate on tier 2 though. He's got the big tech lead, he's going for the shadow, he's going for the raider, walker. No mass raiders this time. Wants to have the walkers out early. To have them out against what he expects to be bears later on. Not a creep heavy game yet. That might change towards the mid and late game. On Twisted Meadows, we see lots of creeping and lots of items, oftentimes. Casino Warcraft, it is called by some. Dimar now also picking up the creep speed. If he gets this green and the one towards the middle, he's gonna be level 3. But it's always wonderful to get early on on the demon. Big camp here by Lindo. I like that. Taking out the Merc camp right away with the Serpent Wards. That's doable without too much difficulty. And the tier 3 for Colorful is still very far away. The Whisper Ass in the early game is making itself manifest here. That's gonna be level 3 right there. Even left the dust behind for the Keeper. I wonder if that's gonna be relevant later. Lin clearing out the natural. This very much looks like an expansion play, which is oftentimes the go-to strategy against uh, bear play. You use your tier 2 strength, get up uh, the expansion before the bears have really come online. Ooh, but the mana burns here are big! There was no Hex on the Shadow. He was Serpent Boards first for creeping. That's huge mana burns. So much mana drained out of the Orc army. The amount is very, very, very passive with his movement. I feel like he could get in more burns, especially against the Walker. Oh, now he will. This is really good play so far by Colorful. Very, very solid. But on a big map like this, it might be impossible to stop the expansion. Peon even has spurred link, so he is quite nicely protected. Can't quite get him. It's a good start here for the keeper as well, taking a big camp right away. It's gonna be level two for him. And a big item, which can sometimes be good, sometimes a little less so. Almost looked like a deny there. Oh! Scourge Bone Chimes. Yep, that is indeed known to be quite good. The Demon play here is excellent, dude. Getting in all these mana burns is such a big deal. There's going to be very low mana only on the walkers. Also on the shadow. Scourge Bone Chimes also for Lin, though. Also on his side. Excellent. And look at the demon. Still across the map. He knows now. This might cost him the TP. But all this scouting, all this harass, this is well worth it, I would say. Even was able to slip through a wisp for scouting. That's amazing. This is such a good position for Colorful. Did he just get a Zeppelin? No, I guess we would be able to see it in the overlay. Big camps here for Lin. He would love to get some more damage for the blade. Boots of Quelthalas right now would be the dream. Also, Soli Mask would be amazing. Oh, Quelthalas boots. Oh my god, these items. These items are insane, dude. Also, the Ring of Region is really good. Alright. Item luck is online. Mana burn right away on the walker, not the shadow, interestingly. 
And in we go. Here come the bears. A little bit late to the party, perhaps. Speed scroll was used. It's gonna be a one-for-one -one trade. Walker, uh, Raider goes down. Dryad goes down. Speed scroll gonna be wearing off soon. And the fight is a bit discombobulated. The front lines reposition. Team Hunter is close to out of mana. Turns off immolation wisely. Don't know if he should be chasing that raider. He's not really fast enough, is he? There's still a heal scroll. Heal scroll could be big. Demon Hunter was a bit late with the mana burn here. And the Kodo is a big addition. With this, Lynn might be able to win this fight if he hasn't already. Everything's very hurt now for him. Staff to use to save the bear. Colorful didn't lose too much though, right? If we can trust the overlay, then he only lost one Dryad and one Archer. Against one Raider. And now the expansion is coming for Lin. Colorful saw it right away though. Then it's pretty hard here. That heal scroll is going to be needed quite soon. Oh, bears from the side. Oh, Colorful with a big mistake. Oh, if he catches the second bear with the ensnare. Ooh, that's a game losing mistake. That's eight supply gone at a crucial moment in the game. Yikes. And the next bear gets devoured. All of a sudden, only two bears on the field. Oh, colorful. Not looking at his reinforcements. Sometimes the reinforcement rally is a bit weird. And that was one hell of a punish. Two bears now devoured. And the Knight of Army has shrunk to a tiny size. I think this is a big mistake in the micro for colorful. Chasing after the raiders with a demon hunter. Takes way too long to chase him down, if even you can get him. He also did that in the previous fight, which uh, made so that the uh, Shadow Hunter got enough mana for a burn again. Uh, I mean, a heal wave again. And didn't get burned. Oh, and there's the other raider with the ensnare. Nope. <laughs> Quite the shame for Colorful. He played a really, really good early game. Early game was perfect. But it was two mistakes. The big one was the bears being lost. And also the demoner. Not microed perfectly. It says 50 supply for Colorful, but of course, 8 of that is still bears stuck in the Kodos. Yeah, look at this army, it's a joke. Two heroes and two bears. That's it. Lin strikes back on his map pick. He's got the expansion mining now. I think he's setting up a shop there as well. And this game is extremely over. The demon is trying his best, but he cannot do it all by himself. Even though the four here on the blade towards the end. Double mana potion on the shadow, so he does have quite a bit of healing to go through, even despite the mana burn, which now they're is no more of. Oh, demon in trouble there. Gets staffed out just in time. Bear gets devoured. That's level 4 for the shadow as well. It's a wonderful level always to have. He's got plus 6 int. I like that. Kept the mantles for him. Then wants to prove that map one was only a fluke. Oh, 
Is that Dakota with a bear, maybe? Well, we won't find out, because that Kodo is not dying. Unlike the bear, caught in GNL form. Yeah, colorful is bleeding out here. He's losing too much. Of course, being up against an expansion here, he has, quite simply, the deficit naturally because of economy. Shadowhunter now, out of mana. This is the last hope for Colorful. Now that there's no homo heal wave, he has to win this fight. But the bears are getting ensnared. The walkers are doing great damage against them. I don't think a single, wa single walker died this game. So Lin made four. You always benefit from them. The magic damage is really good. And the raiders are being kept safe quite well. A little bit of a Serpent Ward surround here towards the end. There's a TP, but Colorful realizes this game is now unwinnable. And Lin takes map number two. Convincing performance. Very strong play there by Lin. Knew exactly how to play against the Bears. And that was despite Colorful having a great early. This was a sick early by Colorful. He defended the early harass really well. He got the level three. The Demon Hunter movement was outstanding. But then some small mistakes occurred later on. And Lin was able to punish with great prejudice. And so we're tied up 1-1. We're going to go to map number three for the decider. And it's going to be Concealed Hill. Finally, map three, dude. Yesterday, it was all two O's in the group of undeads. And there, it might be a different kind of a game. Concealed Hill was always known to be a Keeper Expo map, but Keeper Hunt's expansion is a lot less popular these days. Many Night Elves seem to feel that the Keeper isn't that good anymore, or perhaps, rather, the Orcs are nowadays so good against him. It would be a bit of an upset if Colorful wins this. Not too long ago, though, he had a hot streak against Lin. That was back in 2023, where Colorful won five out of six games against Lin over a period of time, over the summer, basically. But since then, since fall of last year, Lin has been dominating Colorful. I hope Colorful hasn't lost faith in himself, hasn't lost motivation. Again, dude, that early game was so sick. That early game was beautiful. But against Len, you have to always keep delivering. Can't rest on your laurels. Cannot make mistakes. So it is going to be a Keeper first this time. Which doesn't have to mean Hunter's Expo. Could also be just Lures for either Dryads or Bears. We'll see. I've been seeing a lot of one base play here on this map lately. It's always been a difficult map to expand on for Night Elf. And nowadays the Orcs have grown strong in this matchup. You After years of misery and abuse the by the Night Elves, it seems like the tables have finally turned. They have turned quite a while ago. This is not a very recent development. No Peon Scout here by Lin, by the way. Which is very rare in this matchup. 
keeping the resources. Plays a dangerous game against the keeper. Keeper gonna look for a fast level 2. He's gonna get it here. At the green. Mantle. And he's gonna be very happy. Not quite. Only the cloak. Cloak can sometimes be used well by the keeper though. If you can get a bit creative with it. Alright, what tome is it gonna be? I don't know if you guys know this, but depending on uh, what color uh, it's around the Blade Master, the hue, you can see what tome it is. The tome of Strength is red, so that was red right there when you picked up the tome. That was the Tome of Strength. Aji's green, of course. Int is blue, and purple is uh, Tome of Knowledge. Alright, Blade Master shows up here with a speed scroll, and that's a steal for the level 2. He could go mirror image here, if he wants to be scouting. Conceal Hill is normally a very difficult map to prevent. Keep it level 3. Oh, was getting the dust here. That's pretty cute. <laughs> Use the salve to reveal the keeper again. <laughs> Alright. And now we're just kind of standing here. Thank you, ESL Makosh with the resub. One of our big time supporters. Thank you, thank you. Keeper's using this cloak quite well, actually. Keeping the blade busy, getting off some scouting. Oh, and we see a Tauren totem. Looks like Lynette is expecting bears indeed. Wait, was there a Hunter's Hall for Colorful? Oh yeah, of course there was, there's Hunts. Huntress, speaking of which! <sighs> Oof, almost died against the creeps, that would've... Sucked. Blade Master on patrol. <laughs> okay, and now the Keeper is gonna get level 3 in a moment, right? Hunts and Archer should be able to do it at the green. And this is a decent start for Colorful. Good levels on the Keeper, some decent items. Here come the double lores. So the question is, the big one, will it be dryads or will it be bears? And I guess it's also what the blade wants to find out. If it's dryads, then the walkers won't be too helpful. Oh wait, the keeper didn't get three. Oh damn, he got so close. Oh, now he is. I got level 3 from the green with the treants, I guess. Level 2 and tangle. Never mind, level 1 and tangle. So the blade is very much safe. Team Hunter second. Normally, if you play Dryads, you go Keeper. If you go Bears, you play Demon. Seems to be the flow chart for most top Night Elf players. Double circuit for the blade is very nice. It was quite expensive, but it's going to be very valuable later on. Very good scouting here for Lin with the blade. Keeper still has not chosen the second skill point. Or the third skill point, rather. Oh, late master in trouble here. 
This could be a kill, maybe. Oh, he could wind walk just in time. The mana burn a split second. That was mana burn minus zero. Did you guys see that? I haven't seen that in years, dude. Minus zero. That's a moral victory for the orc. Shadow Hunter now level two. Finally, some heal wave. Oh, and I think I have to get the door real quick. It was a delivery, boys. What did I miss? Dude, this 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 overlay is really good for casters who step away from the from the game. You can see up there what was lost, and uh, I can see that nothing was lost. Bears are not ready yet, though. Is this the best time to fight for Lin? Probably not, but the raiders force him into a fight. And snares flying, dryads dying. One goes down, and there goes a second. Late Master Critzia looking really good. The Spirit Link cannot yet be fully dispelled. Dryads didn't have enough mana. I guess. Another ensnare, another kill is level 3 for the Shadow. Excellent fight for Lin. And that was really painful for Colorful. Demon Hunter wasn't level 3 yet. He did get the item, I guess, from the Red Camp, the Hood of Cunning. Which is okay. Not crazy, though. Natural being crept up, Blade Master level 3 here, and Talisman of Evasion, I think is pretty good for the late game on the Blade. Some good evasion chance. If the expansion finishes, Lin should be in a strong position. It's still pretty far from the case though. Takes another two minutes. Crystal Ball reveal. Should have seen it. What was the item? Ring of the Archmage. Right? Okay, that's very good for the Demon Hunter. Solo experience for the Shadow. Trying to get him up to level four. I like that. I like that a lot. Scourge Bone Chimes. Hallelujah. Wonderful creep here for Lin, getting big upgrades. Not quite level 4 though, but he is very close. And also getting pillage in the meantime, up at 400 gold, can break into upkeep soon. Big Master, leading the charge, saying hello first. It is crit level 2 by the way. for putting all his trust in the bears. Wait, does he have no dryads? Yeah, he's got zero dryads. Five bears only and three hunts. I think if Lin Micro as well, he's going to destroy this army. Spirit Link here is going to be so good. Lin positioning on the high ground. If Colorful moves north to cancel his expansion, Lin is going to hit Colorful's main base. That's the threat he's presenting right now. Good mana burn, though. Shadow Hunter for Lin, perhaps a little bit out of position. Kodo comes in, gets off one Devour. 
Scourge Bone Chimes here doing a wonderful job regening health on some of these units. There's a TP on the Shadow. Gonna pop that. Try to get back home. Reduce the losses. Two Raiders did die though. But he took out two bears. Got off a Devourer on one. And supply wise, Colorful is slightly in the lead. Never mind. No, I guess he is. 58. One Kodo, of course, in the co uh, one bear, of course, in the Kodo stomach. Blade Master's looking really strong. These are outstanding items for him. We have thorns all running out. I like that. This is it. Do or die. Last chance for Colorful. Serpent Ward set up early here. Snake Pit. Starting to come online. Very important to keep the Demon Hunter out of range of the Shadow. Oh, and the Staff out is big. Demon is healing up back at home. The Tele Staff will come in. And there it goes. Heals goal. Saves the bear only for a small moment. Short moment. And the codes are ready to devour again. Big Master hurt, but there's still an invuln for him. Shadow Hunter has no mana at all anymore. No potion either. Colorful's finding some kills, but the 10 supply lead is still on the orc. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, and the shop will not finish. Lin really badly needs a heal scroll. He can certainly afford it. He's got a lot of gold. Seems like he forgot about production there for a little while. Raider also chased down. Colorful getting some important kills here. Double level four and the bears for him are very strong. Can he still do this? Supply is dead even. Damn. Colorful putting up a real fight today. Winning map one. Playing a really good map two as well for the most part. And now on map three. Can he bring it home? Mana burns looking good once more. Shadowhunter has only one mana potion left. And this is with the Scourge Bone Champs, by the way. Pretty sick. Double Lob of Venom doing huge damage. But now the bears are about to die. There goes one. Another one will follow soon. Mana burn right after the potion. That was nice. Now it's the Demoner. Versus the Blade. Blade also... Dropping low HP here. The Thorns are us returning a bit of damage. And Len may be doing it right now. Level 4 pops the invul and wants to go for the big kill now. Maybe Rejuve is running. Not getting the spell, but the demon is stuck. And the staff's on cooldown. Demon surrounded next to the trees. Must fall. Supply-wise, we're still very, very close. But that must be the game, surely. That grunt somehow gets away. Trying to go for the Tavern Res, very expensive, but there he is. Demon, back alive. Staffed home, staff back. Moon will help out. Madeline is healing a lot right now with heal cells and clarities. I don't know if he's mining from the expansion, actually. All the peons died earlier, I don't think he's remade them. Still a close affair. The Knight of Army is looking so tiny right now. Three bears is all he has. I mean, the Kodos have digested. They can snack again. That's the case right now for one of the coders. I don't know if he realizes. Speed scroll trying to get away from the thirsty claws of the bears. Oh, fresh Kodo. Hungry again. Got a kill on one bear. Level 5 on the shadow already. Lots of kills, lots of levels. Keeper hurt. Bears hurt. But there's another rejuve. Level 3 heal wave. Not Serpent Wards. Another bear goes down. There we go. Here comes the Heat Wave. That's the big one. But again, he's out of mana for quite a while. 10,000 damage roughly on both Night of Heroes. Blade Master as well. Clocking in another 11,000 right here. And Lin may have finally done it. I've said that a bunch of times, I guess. He's got the double heal scroll though. Oh, and that's going to be so good. Use it, baby. Keep her in trouble as well. One more ensnare. Might be his end. There's the ensnare. A critical strike, perhaps? Not even needed. The keeper goes down. Huge experience going the orc's way. That's level 5. Blade Master now right around the corner. And the GG is forced.